three, two, one. The world is driven by thoughts. Thoughts that create something new, like artificial intelligence. But the common th- thing here is that it's all modeled after a human or biological being called a brain. And I wanted to study about brain a little bit more. I wanted to be able to connect my MacBook to my brain. And I discovered this really cool project called OpenBCI. Hey, what's up guys? John here, and uh, today I'm going to review one of the most anticipated tech ever, probably in the history of this channel, which is going to be uh, the OpenBCI. And this is a brain-computer interface that is completely open source, and uh, both in the hardware and the software sectors, they are like completely open, so- open source and transparent. Um, and it shows all the brain waves uh, in a manner that is really intuitive to interpret and uh, just really easy to understand. Um, I'm not sponsored uh, in this video, but I just wanted to review this because I thought it would be really cool and this is, isn't like any other reviews on any YouTube channels. Like this is, nobody reviews a brain computer inter- interface. I mean, some people talk about Neuralink, but this, we don't need a full-on brain transparent, you don't need to drill a hole onto your skull. Um, this one, non-surgical solution, but still able to interpret your brain waves uh, with relative ease. Um, okay, I'll unbox it. So this is a Ultra Cortex, which is a, uh, um, okay. Important note, if you purchase a pro-assembled before adjusting, you must unplug from their colored cable. I'm just reading this note. For all Ultra Cortex head bearing before rotating the blue electrode mount, it is necessary to ensure that the white cable end. Okay. Broken electrodes are not covered by warranty. Holy mother of God. Wow. Now this is impressive. I know you guys are not looking at what I'm looking at right now, but I'll just give you a quick look. This is what I'm looking at. Look at that. Now that is what I call a brain computer interface. Um, eight nodes, I think. Uh, 16 one is a little bit more expensive, so I bought an eight one. I'm just gonna rotate the camera a little bit towards the, you know, to look down. And this is what it looks like. Absolutely insane. Just absolutely gorgeous. Um, Okay, I'm gonna grab it carefully. It's very fragile. And there you go. Okay, wow. It's such a technological marvel. Wow. Look at that, that's beautiful. Um, So this has a lithium ion battery on it. I'm not sure sure if you guys can see it, but it has a lithium ion battery. And they, uh, there you go, that's a lithium ion battery. And then it has a board that's worth like most of the price I paid for this, which is not a pleasant amount, Um, I think. I'm supposed to attach it like this. I'm gonna have to read a manual for this. Boy, it looks absolutely beautiful. Wow. Um, I'm sure this is the right way though. I hope I'm getting right. Because this board is hella expensive. Um, like this board right here is hella expensive. Like we got Scython accessories which is Python plus C. Got some extra breadboarding tools. Um, is this a 
Is this also a node or what? Yeah, it seems like uh, we got extra sensors. Um, I'm not sure if it's extra sensors or not, but yeah. Um, but wow. This is quite crazy. And we got the little case as well. So I'm guessing we're just supposed to like put it. Um, but yeah, this is quite, quite something. I have to be very careful here. I'm so afraid I'm going to damage parts. Um, okay. We the little open BCI sticker, um, which is great. But, uh, yeah. I watched a TED talk where the guy was like flying a freaking, uh, what was it? Like a drone using this headset. I definitely want to try that using my own drone as well, which is going to be so cool. Um, okay, there we go. And then just gently, um, just gotta like push that in. Wow. Okay, we got the full assembly going here. And I can try it on. Okay, perfect. Now let's try it on. So I'm gonna gently grab this. Everything's super fragile. I don't know where this thing is supposed to go to. Is this for the ear? What's this uh, thing? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna try this on. Let's begin. We have the complete headset, and I did find out that this little dangling piece of a wire is actually for your ear, which is great. Um, I'm going to gently remove the uh, lithium ion battery at the end uh, so that we can actually power it up. So I'm just going to place it so that you guys can better see it. So we are going to unbox this add a fruit okay so now that we have this this little thing can charge up our lithium ion um, so I'm just gonna make sure that this aluminum um, unibody MacBook doesn't collide with our um, thing so that there's no static electricity um, and let me detach the case so I'm pretty sure I already showed you guys but gosh just gently do it it's hard to do it We, okay, there we go. Perfect. And then we're basically gonna um, unplug this lithium ion. Okay, let me try this on again. And really important thing to remember for you guys is before you actually twist the these uh, nodes. So before you, okay, let me. So really important thing you gotta remember is before you twist this to adjust the fit um this node kind of thing you basically have to disconnect this cable with the colored cable and the white cable that basically is soldered to the actual sensor um else they say it's going to tangle up and then it's going to break the sensor uh it's going to break the solder which is just a pain in the ass i don't have a solder right now so i don't want to you know deal with all of that and it also breaks the warranty by the way so not something you want to deal with so I'm just gonna be aware of that and I'm gonna go for a quick fit once again um, it's supposed to go like a little bit towards the front okay which I think that's on that's like this is like the right direction basically I can feel kind of a little like pins that are sticking out and they're digging to my head, digging to my like scalp. So really I'm adjusting my fit. So let me show you on the video. 
So before you actually adjust your fit, once again, I'm, I'm giving you guys a warning. Make sure you disconnect this. So, meaning, uh, when you do this, so when you're basically trying to spin this around like that to basically make the probe a little bit closer to your scalp, you gotta disconnect this pin like that first in order to not damage the sensor. And then you're gonna try this on, on your head. Um, and then you're gonna basically Okay, sometimes I feel like I'm pressing this way too hard. Just be gentle. This is a very expensive, like it's as expensive as the Vision Pro. So I would recommend not giving it too much of a pressure, but then just kind of check which uh, pin that's basically your, that's not touch, that's not connected to any cable. Double check that, like double check that the, uh, the cable's like free. And then you would basically spin it. God. I feel like I'm being electrocuted. That's what I feel like, like right now. It just doesn't, it's very weird. It's a very weird feeling. So really after you're done, make sure you connect this back, connect these cables together. And then basically you can't do it like so that these two are facing upwards but kind of a way that's like one is sideways one is facing up and then you kind of just push it in like that boom these two are connected now once again i'm just telling you you got to be very gentle you got to be very gentle with this so once you adjust your fit we're good to go I'm gonna think about raising my right arm. So that I can make the aircraft go to the right. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna think about raising my left arm. Right now, I'm thinking about raising my left arm. And now we're gonna think about raising my right arm. Okay, I gotta be in a more comfortable position. Okay, so right now I'm thinking about raising my left arm, this arm. I'm gonna think about raising my right arm now. So raising my right arm. I think about raising my right arm, sorry, left arm. So this is when I think about just either arms. Think about left arm now. Okay. Have to relax, left arm. Right arm. Left arm. Okay, left arm. Right arm. So whenever I raise my arm to the left, I, I don't actually raise my arm, but I actually think about raising my arm. So just think about raising my left arm, think about raising my right arm. And as you guys would probably know uh, or heard of, your left side of brain, uh, your left hemisphere of your brain is connected to your right arm and your right hemisphere is connected to your left arm. So by measuring the EEG of each side of your brain, I don't really think about controlling the airplane itself, but rather I think about controlling my arm. And I am an animal. Go to the left, come on, you got this. You got this, come on, go to the left. The left, oh my God. Left, oh God, God, left, come on, no. Left, 
There you go, there you go. Go to the left, turn right, turn right, turn right, turn right. Right, 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 turn right. Turn left. Left. Turn left. That far. Turn left. Come on. You got this. Turn left. Turn left. Turn left. Turn left. Come on. That far. Got this. Turn left. Turn left. Again. We got this. <sighs> left. Oh, come on. Look at my fing fist. Shh. Left. <clears throat> I'm fighting the. Left to the right, 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 right. Oh no, we're crashing. Oh, we're going up, we're going up. We're going up, right, right, right. Turn right, turn right. Come on, you got this. Turn right. Turn right. Turn right. The thing is, is Come on, turn right, turn right, turn right, turn right, turn right, turn right, turn left, turn left, it doesn't like me to crash. Yeah, so, hey guys, John here, back again, I'm going to try my, try to close my eyes to see the alpha waves, uh, spike at 10 hertz. Three, two, one. Close my eyes. Visual cortex is at five, six, and seven. Yeah, pretty cool. That's alpha waves for you guys. Thanks for watching. Guys, check out my shredded apart clothes. I just launched on my shredded apart Shopify mall, and it looks absolutely fantastic. For aviation geeks or pilots, Check this uh, shirt out. It has a GE90 engine with a Boeing 777, 777. I basically drew this on Procreate on my iPad and alongside this beautiful lettering, which is 777 and shredded part. Absolutely fantastic. Um, and yeah, check this out on the mall. I'll put the link below. And yeah, thanks for watching.